Good evening. I'm Russ. Uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. This, this is a Priming the Pup episode. That's right. And tonight we're going to be covering a new distillery for us, uh, ASW out of Atlanta, and a particular whiskey by the name of Tire Fire. Which, with a name like that, you have certain expectations. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious to see what they're bringing bringing to the, uh, the the table here. Yeah, so this is a single malt whiskey, um, and the malt itself is sourced from over in Scotland. We don't know much about it, but it is heavily peated. I think it's 45 ppm. Ooh, that's hefty. I think it's about 45 percent ABV. So it should be pretty stout, I would think. Yeah, that puts it in the uh, the line of like an art bag. Yeah, you know, in in the uh, the PPMs. Absolutely, uh, no color added, not chill, uh, no chill filtration or anything of that nature. So I I have pretty high expectations for this, and this again is right out of Atlanta, Georgia. So local to us. Yeah. Um, was there any mention of an age statement with it? There is no age statement. All right. So hmm, okay, <laughs> going to be an interesting one. So color-wise, it is definitely an amber color. Yep. Not excessively dark or anything of that nature. Got good legs on it, good oils in that. It really does. Really does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that <laughs> smells like burning rubber. It really does. The name really fits in this case. It really does taste like so. It really smells like somebody just roasted some tires. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's really interesting. <laughs> very unique. Not something that I've encountered in a whiskey before. Okay. Mmm. So a couple things. Um, wow. Really no alcohol on the nose, no mm -hmm. burn on the nose, not really much of any burn on the palate. So it handles that 45% very well. Yeah, it's... um. All right, mm -hmm. so I mean, initial right on the tongue, I'm getting like an ashiness, but it's yeah. not like a like a barbecue smell. Um, it's like um, the other day I cleaned my oven, and um, you know I ran it through the clean cycle, and then when you open the door afterwards, you kind of get yeah. that ashiness. Yep. That uh, that ashy smell. That's kind of what it tastes like. Yeah, a little bit. you're dead on with that. Um, There's definitely a nice floral aspect to it on the exhale. On the exhale, yeah. Um, something, uh, uh, something floral, something sweet, something that you would get in like a bouquet, like a chrysanthemum mm -hmm. or something. You know, has a little bit of uh, um, has a little bit of those floral notes to it. You know, a sweetness. Yeah. There's a little maltiness in the background. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely smoke forward. There's no doubt about that. But wow. it's very pleasant. There's, there's really no sharp edges on this. Not really. the uh, The flavor profile is is totally unique. Agreed. I've not I've not tasted anything quite like this, and it's not in the like the same category as like a, like an Isla, like a Lafroy. You know, yeah. it doesn't have that um, that barbecue smell to it, but it um, but it definitely has the smoke. Well, we've had other American single malts before. And I will say this one's unique compared to them as well. There mm -hmm. is, you know, there is no age statement. I don't know what they've done there, but there isn't excessive oak influence. There's not a whole lot of oak spice. There's not ex a lot of vanilla from the oak or anything of no. that nature. I'm not getting any vanilla. I'm not getting any toffee notes. No. Um, it, it really is floral, uh, malty, and, um, and, and it's got a really, really nice, pleasant smoke to it. Yeah, I it's agree. completely unique. Very pleasant, actually. Yeah. Hmm. It's got great um, cling to the palate that you get with a very oily whiskey. Yeah, it definitely lingers a little bit. Especially mm. that smoke tends to hang around. I keep getting that floral note after the fact as well. Yeah. Wow, I really like that. I do too. I'm thoroughly impressed. Now, I think I paid somewhere around the vicinity of about 50 bucks for this bottle. Um, based on what I'm getting right now, I would say it's well worth that. Certainly not something for somebody just entering into scotch. I think it's a little smokier than a lot of people would be comfortable with. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, again, no real sharp edges. No major alcohol impact or oak impact. Very easy to drink. Yeah, an American single malt. That's yeah. A, that's, that's excellent. I think we're going to have to revisit this distillery. I think so. That may be uh, worth a trip come somewhere down the ride, or down uh, the road. Agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. So again, that's ASW based out of Atlanta nice small distillery hopefully we'll be giving them a visit all right, all right guys thanks everybody thanks for joining cheers